Right under these waters sits one of Britain's dirtiest secrets, a trench filled of over a million tons of bombs, chemical weapons, and even nuclear waste. Imagine walking down this beach and finding a rusted bomb from World War II, or phosphorus grenades which burst into flames when you touch them. And it's not a what if. Along the Northern Irish and Scottish coast, people really have found live explosives washing ashore, all thanks to a hidden trench just out there. This place is Beaufort's Dyke, and on a map it looks harmless, just a long underwater trench between Scotland and Northern Ireland. But for decades, governments used it as a giant submerged landfill for all the weapons they didn't want anymore. And today, we're going to uncover how this glacial trench became Europe's largest munitions dump, and how it's still threatening ships, fishermen, and coastal communities today. Beaufort's Dyke lies between Northern Ireland and Southwest Scotland. It stretches over 50 kilometers long, three and a half kilometers wide, and plunges over 300 meters deep, which is unusually deep for the European continental shelf. Its depth and position made it a perfect, out of sight, out of mind location. Close to military ports, yet hidden beneath strong tides that sweep away sediment. It became the UK's largest offshore dumping ground after World War II. When the World Wars ended, Britain had a big problem. Millions of tons of unused shells, bombs, grenades and chemical weapons. What were they to do with all of that? Storing it was expensive, dismantling it was dangerous, and destroying them on land was complicated. So the answer was simple, load them onto ships, sail them into the Irish Sea and throw them overboard. Out of sight, out of mind. From the 1920s through the 1970s, ship after ship sailed to Beaufort's Dyke, dumping an estimated 1 to 2 million tonnes of munitions. Everything from artillery shells and incendiary bombs to mustard gas and phosgene gas rockets. And it wasn't just explosives. In the 1950s, even barrels of radioactive waste and luminous paint were dumped into the dike. For years, nobody really thought about it. The official line was, it's deep, it's safe, leave it alone. But the sea doesn't keep secrets forever. In the 1990s, something strange started happening right here along the Scottish coast. In 1995, while engineers were laying a gas pipeline across the North Channel, locals started finding white phosphorus bombs washed ashore. Some ignited on contact. Over 4,500 pieces of ordnance were collected along the coast. What made it worse? Many of the bombs weren't even inside the official dump zone. They'd been short dumped, tossed overboard miles before reaching the site. And then there are the explosions. In 1986, a sudden explosion equivalent to a two and a half magnitude earthquake was recorded in the dike, caused not by tectonic plates, but by bombs rotting and detonating on the seabed. Geologists say these underwater blasts happen regularly. One was measured at the force of five tons of TNT. And remember, that's just one explosion in a trench packed with millions of tons of munitions. And if all that wasn't risky enough, this stretch of sea is also busy, really busy. Over a million passengers sail across it every year. Ferries, tankers, fishing boats, cargo ships, all crisscrossing right above a trench full of bombs. It's also a Royal Navy and NATO nuclear submarine training zone. In 2018, a Stena Line ferry carrying 215 passengers came within 100 meters of colliding with a Royal Navy submarine. The crew only avoided disaster because they spotted the periscope just in time. That was the third such incident in four years. Then came one of the strangest turns, the Boris Bridge. In 2020, Prime Minister Boris Johnson floated the idea of a massive bridge or tunnel linking Scotland and Northern Ireland. The shortest route right over Beaufort's Dyke. Engineers were horrified. Not only would construction mean drilling into unstable seabed and spanning four kilometers at its narrowest point, but the site is literally filled with live bombs and radioactive waste. One study put the cost at 335 billion pounds before the whole idea was quietly scrapped. So why should we care about some trench full of old weapons? Because those weapons aren't gone. They're corroding, leaking, and sometimes exploding. They're still washing up on beaches where people live, fish, and swim and because ferries, tankers and submarines are still navigating over one of the most dangerous dumps in Europe. Beaufort's Dyke isn't a relic of the past. It's a live problem under the waves. And the truth is, nobody really knows what will happen if it all finally comes unstuck. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.